Hello everybody and welcome back to our Charlotte Hornets franchise here in 2K18. This franchise is taking a turn and I understand that NBA 2K19 is coming out September 11th, or at least it's slated for that release date, but we would only get through about two seasons, give or take with the Charlotte Hornets, and I don't want that. I want to get as far as I can, possibly as I can, with this Hornets team. So, this is going to be a some franchise, and we might do half a year per video, go through everything that, you know, happens during the season, or a whole year, I'm not too sure yet, but... Right now, the Hornets are 3-4, and four, and you guys were obviously supposed to see that Indiana Pacer game. The result, not so much. 114-84, Indiana. Freddie Staples, 39 minutes. You know that kid out of the draft class last year in our Hornets franchise and the Pacers took? Yeah, he did work. 41 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, or 3 steals, 17-28 from the field. In 39 minutes, uh, Hornets had no answers. Hornets just had no answers. 15 turnovers to the Pacers, three by Will Barton, uh, Thaddeus Young, and Montez Sabanis. So it was a bad night for the Hornets. It was just it was it was a bad night. We outscored them by five, and we kept it close in the third. But the first and fourth. No chance. So, with that said, we are going to sim. And right now, this team, as we go through uh, coach game planning, uh, da -da -da -da, yes. Um, this coach game plan, pretty important because. We need to win. You know, we, we just need to win. And uh, right now, some guys are doing that more than others. And all that good stuff. So, two small forwards here. Demar Carroll, Tareem Prince. Let's put Monkey out of Prince. Let's bump down Prince's number, uh, minutes to 10. Let's go ahead and give Malik Monk those numbers. Uh, Marvin Williams, Zoo back. I'm not too sold on still. Carroll up to 19. All right, so there's our there's our lineup. Obviously, we have Kemba, Jeremy Lamb, one, two, then Batum, Collins, who we traded for, uh, Zeller, Tamar Carroll, Malik Monk, Tareem Prince, Ibaka Zubak, Marvin Williams. They're all getting mer uh, minutes with Monte Morris. Guys that aren't, Dwayne Bacon, Brendan Hammond, Tub, Draft, Cody Perks, and James Young all out of the draft. So that is the coach game plan. And uh, let's just go ahead and sim. Let's go ahead and sim to the all-star break. And uh, let's see where we go. So already, we take a loss. And Tareem Prince is not happy about this situation. So we'll go to team status. And he's not happy about the minutes he's been getting. Guess what? You're just the third small forward on the team. So, uh, I... I can't do that. We have to give him tough love. We have to give him. I mean, your morale might have went down, but all the other players, the morale goes up. So, with that, uh, we have a press conference, and Tareem Prince is always concerned about not getting enough minutes. How hard is it to manage all the edges or egos of the players? It's very hard. Uh, I'd say managing the egos of players is the toughest part of my daily endeavors. Press trust from that reporter goes eight. All players, really, at the end of the day, it's a plus one. So uh, every time we have these little interactions, we cut us and over. Uh, it sucks, but it has to be done. Memphis Grizzlies, we take the win there. Denver Nuggets, we go back to 500. Brooklyn Nets, we lose by two. That's a little heartbreaking. Knicks, we lose. Uh, need to start winning. Cavs, I don't expect to win. We've had four days off, and we have this. We have a discouraged Jeremy Lamb. 
So, feel that we haven't been giving them a contract extension. Okay. Uh, you know, good time to do that is any. So, let's talk about me getting a contract extension. Yeah, I would love to keep Jeremy Lamb here. I would love to keep him here. He's been so good to us. So, let me know if you want to talk about it. Cool. Plus A morale. Let's talk to him right now. So, let's go ahead and go over to players, my GM. Nope. There it is, front office, player contract. So, all these guys, really not all of them, just two guys. Their contracts are expiring this year. So, uh, let's see. Contract extensions, Jeremy Lamb, he will resign. That's his thought going into it. So, three years, $40 million. Honestly, I'm going to give him what he wants because he is that important to this Charlotte Hornets team. And uh, just, you know, why not? So 40.73. We're going to offer a contract three years. Does that work for you, Jeremy Lamb? Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what we accomplish. So he wasn't too thrilled with it. You know, kind of, eh, cool, that's fine. Uh, but hey, we have him on the team for three years. That's what matters. So, continuing this sim here, and we reached level 14. So, let's go. Let's go scouting report per cycle. And we lose to the Cavs. That's a shocker. So, now John Collins, about the role he's been getting recently. I don't understand why he would be mad. Oh, why is he not our powerful? Why is Tareem Prince? No. Uh, yeah, that's not right. So, God, what did they do to this team? Lamb should get 30. Uh, Marvin Williams should not be getting 29 off the uh, bench. There. That should be our rotation for the future. Obviously, John Collins is not happy. He's going to say, can you promise to change the role? We have. We did it. I already did it for you. So, we're just going to continue to make
We're not going to take that trade. We're not going to take it from the Pacers. Beat the Pistons. Beat the Clippers. Can we beat the Nuggets? We can't beat the Nuggets. Let's beat the Heat now. Press conference before the Heat game. November 27th. How satisfied are you with the current staff top to bottom? Honestly, I'm very satisfied with them. Uh, as we always do, we'll assess them one by one when their contracts are up. So, yes, that gives us trust in the staff, but also the reporter trust is down. So, we lose to the Miami. Horribly. Alright, fair enough. Uh, Tareem Prince is angered about minutes he's been getting. We knew that was going to happen. So, uh, let's go ahead. Uh, Treen ain't happy because Treen ain't getting enough minutes. You don't want to make Treen angry. I, I just, I don't care. We, we got a tough love it again. You got to earn it on the court. I really don't care about your morale, dude. I don't want to ruin friends. Really, realistically, we don't need him. So, um, you know, whatever happens with him in the offseason happens. Beat the Cavs. Beat the Grizzlies. We're above 500. Can we beat the Raptors? Please, can we beat the Raptors? Cannot. Three-point loss. Now, the Grizzlies are offering for Ibaka Zubac. So, everyone wants the Zubac kid. Deon Deontay Davis. Center power forward. CDFDC. CDFDC. Pretty, you know, uh, even keel with Zubac. Uh, obviously, Cody Zeller is not going to be happy with being a new center. Obviously. Uh, Davis is 74. Zubac is 77. Um, we're not going to take it. We're going to keep Zubac. Can we beat the Magic? Yes, we can. Thank God. Magic are so bad in this game. Atlanta Hawks coming up. We lose by four. We're 11 and 11. Kings, we lose by four. Got to beat the Pistons. We cannot. 70 points, really? Uh, Nicholas Batum wants a contract extension. That is fun with me. We'll keep him as well. We'll promise his, uh, promise his extension. So now let's go to front office. Contract. We'll resign Batum and Marvin Williams. So we'll talk to Marvin Williams after this as well. And uh, to start, one year deal for 11.76. That sounds fine with me. Well, let's make it happen, Nicholas. So 11.76 million right here. Do that. Uh, option. No option. No trade clause. We don't care about that. Batum, do we have a deal? All right. He's in with us. 100 morale there. And then, let's go front office with Marvin Williams. He will resign. And let's talk to him before, you know, he comes to us first. To Marvin Williams, $1.49 million. Honestly, I think he's worth more. Uh, total, let's... Um, wow. Really don't want to, you know, do... really don't want to do the minimum. I want to give him more. I don't want to give him that much more. So how about no trade clause for Marvin Williams in that one year? Let's give him a flat offer of 2.34. Yes, that's so much higher than he wants, but no trade clause, you know, should help us. He can stay here. Pretty good offer. I'm glad it's in Charlotte. Look good. So we have Lamb, we have Batum. And now we have Marvin Williams staying two of them for a year. Can we beat the Suns? We can. Nicholas Batum wants to talk to you about improving his organizational role. That's not good. I feel like the minutes are messed up. Uh, Batum. All right. Talk to the player. I'll keep it simple. I think I've earned a starting spot. See, I don't... Why are you not a starter? Why does 2K not... Why does 2K not keep the minutes, man? Tomorrow Carroll, you're not starting your backup. Everything else is good. Everything else is good. That's what I don't understand. I just don't understand it. We'll keep the minutes as they are. 
we'll just keep them as they are. We need to start winning. Playing Utah, playing New Orleans, coming up here. And I think we're only going to do half a year per video because all these press conferences. So, it's going to be interesting. Would you ever consider trading Kemba Walker? No, not a chance. Not a chance. He's an untouchable in this team. So, loyalty and morale from Kemba go up. That's very important. And we blow out the Jazz 134. Uh, 100. So we'll go to team status. Somehow you want minutes. At this point, I'm just down for releasing him. I'll pay that. And uh, tough love. I again, I don't care. I just don't care. Coaching? No. Front office roster. How much are we paying you? Really? How much are we paying you? Because I can't deal with this. Uh, team option 3.4 We're gonna release him. Unless signed by another two days away to make him doing things all right. Yep. Just get rid of him. He's a problem. He's just a problem for us. We can't deal with that. So hopefully that uh lightens the mood here in Charlotte and uh, we can start doing stuff. Crab for Carroll. That could be an interesting trade. Alan Crab, shooting guard though. Uh, obviously not a small forward. Uh, let's see. Gotta take, you know, what you can get. Shooting guard, exit without declining. We're gonna stop simulation and review that. Obviously, we have John Collins playing a shooting guard. Interesting. Um, I'm sure you know about this, but just want to remind you we have a game coming against Russell Westbrook. We won't change it. I don't really care. And we won by two. Brooklyn Nets, can we get the win there? We can, 119.89. Toronto Raptors, once again, we can't. We're above 500. The Bulls, Payne and Nene for John Collins and Cody Perkson. No, just by looking at it. No. Back to back Bulls games, we split that, so that's very good to see. We're above 500 still. Second. And now third in the division. Now we beat the Knicks. We are always blowing out the Knicks. Get blown out by the Kings. Perkinson and John Collins for Drebko and Grant. No, we're not giving up Collins. We're not doing it. Clippers, before that, we have a press conference. Uh, which area of your team are you currently the most pleased with? Let's go depth, because I think our depth L, starting lineup, really happy with the guys we have, so only thing we lose is a uh, press trust, so I'll take it, Clippers, we lose their uh, office visit once again, just checking in, I thought I mentioned that you can change prices, I understand that, don't view, uh, I think we're doing fine where we are right now, to the Lakers we lose, we are 18 and 19, 10th uh, in the East right now. We're right there on the cusp of a playoff border spot. Phoenix, can we beat Devin Booker in them? Hopefully we can. Uh, level up, let's go. Attendance increase. Lose to the Suns. We've lost, I think, three, uh, three, maybe four or five in a row. Can we beat the Mavericks and Mark Cuban? Hopefully we can, yes, at home. 
uh, Rudez and Ike again from Indiana for perfect sentence back. We're not going to take that. Guys want John Collins. Guys want uh, Perkinson and all those guys in Zubak. Another trade between them, Perkinson for Piombo and Teletovich. No, we're not going to do that. Pacers, second meeting. I believe all year we lose. Miami, last time we played them, I remember we got blown out. This time we win. 22-21. Orlando, before that, we have a press conference. How satisfied are you with the current staff? We're very satisfied. We don't even need to go back there again. Magic, we win by three. Lakers, we win. We're first in the division. Rockets, we lose. I'll take it. It's the Rockets and James Harden. Uh, Samson, if there are any players you want to trade, you might do it right now. I'm happy with this team. I am completely happy with this team right now we're you know obviously close to the all-star break but we are playing good ball randolph and ellis for hammonds and lamb because jeremy lamb is in, is in there because we offered him a contract extension we're not going to take that deal can we beat the wizards and magic back to back those are big division games goal about to fail trade for first round pick i mean i didn't think we'd be doing this i honestly didn't Greg Monroe and James Johnson, I believe, or Drew Johnson, for Jimmy Lynn, Cody Perkinson, decline. Goal about to fail from Drew Samuels. I just can't do anything about that. We beat the Wizards. We beat the Magic. Um, well, let's take a look at goals. I mean, goals and promises. Let's see, where is it? First round draft pick, two required to trade deadline. We're not gonna get two first round draft picks. That's not happening. So we're gonna fail that, but you know what? Oh well. Uh, 2022 first round draft pick and JaVale McGee for John Collins. So JaVale McGee is gonna be interesting trade we would get rid of Zubak but not for John Collins so we're going to decline that we beat the Bucks now the Wizards and Bucks DeMar Carroll Cody Perkinson for Cody Joseph and Rudez will negotiate that Joseph is a point guard uh, da -da -da -da. let's not do that so we'll decline that beat the Wizards we're on a win streak of four we are rolling in the east and we're almost done here with the first half of the season Drew holiday for Batum, no because the tombs contract extension another win against the bucks we have won five in a row press conference your team's winning streak now six to five do you think it'll last mm, i don't want to say yes but i don't want to say no uh i'm going to say no in hopes that he can say you can lose at any time so no uh six would mean we're actually good and we're not okay that's not that's not the spirit but we are playing the golden state warriors so uh yeah i don't think it's gonna happen anyway nurkic and heartless for between 21 first round pick top three protected no and we get blown out by the warriors and the t wolves expected that uh, Hornets get a 2020 first round pick lottery protected and Mahimi for Damar Carroll. Oh, God. Oh, Mahimi is a center. to do the trades. Did Mark Carroll propose? Yes. I love our current roster. I think we're a championship contender. I won't mess with what we have unless it's a deal that's too good. However, I have a counter offer that I think can work. So now he wants to add uh, basically a swap force. 
I get it. He's trying to sweeten the deal. And yeah, Pistons agree to that. So guess what? Now we have three centers. We have four centers. Uh. Probably for a power forward, if we can. So Zach Randolph. Um, I like Brendan Hammonds. Tyson Chandler, no. Two power forwards, but a first round pick. I don't like that. Um, do, do, do. No good offers. No good offers here. 20 and 21. No. We can't give up the first round pick for Wilson Chandler. Might have to do Zach Randolph. Uh, keep him for this year. Let's go ahead and do that. Zach Randolph for Cody Zeller. Let's see if they accept it. They do. So now go to coach game plan. Uh, Zach Randolph is our starting power forward. That is not going to happen. We want Marvin Williams as the starter here. Uh, let's see. Hammonds is getting minutes because Zeller is gone. That's fine. Um, the team should be getting more minutes. So, Collins bumped down to 25. Bacon down to 10. Let's give some minutes here to Batum. Marvin Williams should be getting minutes here. Uh, Zubac, let's go 22. Batum up to 30. Let's go 28. Alright. And we have four games left before the All Star break here in 2K. We're being offered a pick Zubac and 2021 second round pick for Rudez in the 2021 first round lottery protected pick for the Pacers. They really want Zubac. They just really want this guy. That's a horrible trade. We're not going to take it. So back to our office now. Uh, is there any players you might want to trade? No. We've already made one trade. OKC Thunder, can we beat them? Uh, yeah, we failed that goal. That's fine. Well, you know, I'm not too concerned about it. We do lose to the Thunder, but we beat the Trailblazers. Two more games before the All-Star break. Raptors, can we beat them? Yes, easily. 27 point uh, uh, win for 31 and 25, sixth in the East. East is actually looking good for once. We're first in the division in the Southeast. So, uh, we're looking good. We're looking very good. Uh, Zach Randolph did not do well against his former team. Hey, man, we have to give him a pep talk. You know, you can't always do what you want. So, we got to tough love it. We can't coddle him. I'm not sure your social skills. Wow, okay. I mean, he wanted to be coddled. That's, I can't control that. So, one more game before the All-Star break here. Hornets are going to end the first half. 31-26. I feel like Atlanta was right behind us with that win, so let's go ahead and take a look at the division. And where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Division, yeah. The Wizards. Okay, so it's actually the Wizards. Hawks are horrible. Heat are horrible. Orlando's falling off. Two horse race right now in the southeast. But uh, you know, we are in a playoff spot. We're eighth right now. The Wizards are ahead of us by a game. They sit six. 76ers lead the East by the Cavs, Pistons, Celtics, Pacers, Wizards, Bucks, Hornets. And uh, that's the first half to the 2019 season. And, uh, or 2018-2019 season. Guys, we'll catch you later for the second half. Take care. And uh, the Hornets, they are making...